What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Optimal EV. Today, we'll be giving you guys a quick rundown on how to connect Apple CarPlay and also go over some key highlights. So before you try and connect your iPhone to your car, I want to go over the basic requirements you need for setting it up. You will need an iPhone 5 or newer that is running at least iOS 7.1 or higher. Also, you obviously need a car that is Apple CarPlay compatible. Okay, here we are inside the vehicle. As you can see, we're on BMW's latest system, iDrive 7, and the way to connect Apple CarPlay will change depending on which vehicle you're using. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our mobile devices, go into our settings, then we're going to make sure that Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Apple CarPlay are all checked off. The reason Bluetooth has to be checked off is because that's what initiates the connection between the car and the phone, and then Wi-Fi is what is used for the CarPlay to link. We're then gonna to go to new device, phone calls and audio. It's gonna pop up my phone, and then we're gonna go over to the iPhone and go into our settings. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go into our Wi-Fi and make sure that it's activated because again, Wi-Fi is the main connection used for Apple CarPlay to link. Then we're gonna go back and make sure to go into general, not Bluetooth. Go down to CarPlay. Then you're gonna see the device pop up as BMW. And this device name will change depending on your device name or the car you're using. You're going to see Bluetooth pop up. You're going to push pair. You're going to allow the contacts. And then you're going to select yes. So that's just the Bluetooth connection. Now you're going to get prompted for CarPlay. So you're going to select use CarPlay. It's going to take a second. And this is the Wi-Fi connecting to the car. Okay, now that we've patiently waited to connect, we are in the CarPlay interface. We're going to start at the home screen where you have a lot of shortcuts. As you can see on the left side, we have our map. Then we're also going to have our music on the right side. And on the top, we're going to have some shortcuts to find gas stations, parking lots, and restaurants. We're going to go over to the main screen where you see your apps. And you can actually customize these to prioritize certain ones. So we're going to go into general, CarPlay, go to the device, customize. And we're going to move some of the apps to the top so you can see which apps you prefer on the front screen versus on the next screen. You can put all your essentials here like Spotify, your text messages, your phone calls, whatever you need. All right, now I'm gonna show you just some quick settings on the phone. We have our favorites, our recent calls. We'll go into our contacts as well. It's pretty close to the exact same thing that you would see on your regular phone, uh, except replicated here on the screen of the car. Siri, of course, is accessible right through the Ask Siri button. Depending on your car, your microphone button on the steering wheel can be used for day-to-day -day commands as well. Okay, now we're going to our keypad where we can dial any number, just like you can do on your phone. Then the last thing we have is your voicemail. So you can listen to your voicemail while driving. Uh, it's just a really good interface, makes it easy. Some of you might be wondering what the main advantages are of using Apple CarPlay instead of the standard Bluetooth system. One major benefit would be having a familiar interface on the car that is almost identical to that of your phone. Another solid feature would be the real-time traffic information that is given to you with Waze, Apple Maps, and Google Maps, which are much more accurate than the integrated navigation in your vehicle, I promise. Although the auto industry has made leaps in voice recognition, nothing comes quite close to the accuracy of which the apps on your phone can determine what you're saying, especially when it comes to entering addresses into your map. As you can see, you can also access your text messages right from here. Here's our friendly reminder to subscribe if you haven't already. Please make sure you guys are liking and commenting down below if you have any more questions or anything that we haven't answered in this video. Okay, so just like your phone, when you have too many apps, you're gonna make another page. On this page, should be on the first one, but it's my favorite app, Spotify, where I listen to all my music. I have my recent searches on the screen. And then I'm going to show you one last feature before we head out of here. It's going to be the customizable backgrounds. We have our wallpapers with blue and green. You can set them easily. It shows you a nice preview. You can go to red. And then if you're someone who really doesn't like to have different color backgrounds, you can either pick up flat black or go to a nice gray as well. All right, everyone, that concludes our basic rundown on how to connect Apple CarPlay. We hope you found it helpful. We tried to keep it simple. Yeah, if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the future.